Jane was a teenager, already obsessed with pop music, when the McGowans moved into their London home in the Barbican. As Britain spent its last pounds, shillings and pence before decimalisation at the beginning of 1971, and the troubles in Northern Ireland spiralled out of control, it was the records of Cream, Black Sabbath, Creedence Clearwater Revival, The Rolling Stones, Pink Floyd and other bands that thundered from his eerily lit bedroom, competing with the daily soundtrack of the construction work outside. He got into music big time at the Barbican and he would have his records going up all day long in his room, recalls Morris. The big one was Bob Dylan. And that was the time I got to like Bob Dylan too. I was a real square, sort of pretending to be literary. And I got to love Bob Dylan and still do. I got to love all that rock music, especially when combined with country. My mind was opening. Siobhan was just next door and she'd watch the people entering the den. The music coming out of there was shattering. Here it is, this is A Furious Devotion, The Life of Shane McGowan, and it's out on Omnibus Press on the 7th of October.